Hello YouTube, welcome back again to another video. So, um, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long, long time. Um, been almost like three weeks now, but actually it's three weeks exactly. Um, so, Capital Fiji, welcome back again to another video. So it's been a while because um, there's a lot of things that just pretty much happened in three weeks. So first, there was the Vanguard Zero Championship qualifier. Well, actually before that I pretty much spent like I usually I usually do Tekken fights later on the like, second season because the first season I usually grind but I don't know why even after the good gacha I got like a little bit burned out from when so I took a break and I was planning to do some Vanguard content but then like physical Vanguard content I'm missing one Eden in my Bruce deck which I brought to Spring Fest but I didn't practice as much and didn't win sadly but I got far on a C personally it's just like um, over trigger side of things, so like luck is really reliant, anyways. Then the format is pretty healthy, it's fun, um, not gonna lie, like super super fun, but yeah. So, um, the deck's not there, but like there's DVD 02, I pre ordered a box, so that's a good thing, that's a surprise. <laughs> so, um, today we're gonna check out new tech profile. So, I'm finally back in Vanguard Zero making content. I've been playing Vanguard Zero here and there, I just got a little bit more tired, I guess, in the break. So I have a lot of things to tell you during the three weeks where pretty much I just had school. That's pretty much it. Like my school is back online, so um, like legit like July, like we, we I Rank July I went back to school immediately. Today oh, oh, I was recording when I was streaming the pack opening. That was the first day of my school and I got busy with that. So I still am busy, but I think right now I have some free time. So um, I'm gonna we're gonna check out a new deck. It's probably from the title you see, Revenger. So also, before we go into Revengers, there is a deck that I've pretty much like cracked open some packs because like it was so close to finishing, I finished it anyway, which is this. Um, it's duos, uh, if you draw both triangles. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do that. <laughs> it's this deck, and if you want to see it in action, it's not the best deck. I'll tell you why later on if in the deck profile if I remember. Um, but this is a deck, I completed it. I was going to make a video about it, but then I realized it's not that good and I don't want to show you guys bad decks anymore unless it's like if it's tier true it's either a really fun deck or it's a really like good deck or like it's not it's good enough but this is like uh, not that good honestly if you're trying to grind this is not really good I'll explain why later on if, if I um, when doing our maps but yeah if you want to do it you want to see a this deck um, if this video gets like a ten, uh, 20 likes <laughs> I don't mind. I'll do a video if you guys want to see it. But Revengers, what? Okay, this is my deck profile. I think this is the generic uh, um, Shadow Paladin deck profile. I did um, do like a small like. I at first I made it completely the same with uh, different fight. If you know, you probably know him. Um, I'll leave him in the links in the description. If I for I hopefully won't forget. Um, so. He did a video on it, and I didn't know how Revengers looked like because I never played Revengers during this time. Because, but when I started, it was a G and like most of the cards, G era cards basically. So, this is my Revenger build, it's pretty good. Um, this is I'm pretty sure it's super similar. I may have not made it different, I'm pretty sure I changed here and there, but if I made it the same, so props to him. Um, I couldn't have made this deck without uh, his video because I didn't know how Revengers were built, but it was. If you think about it, it's pretty generic. So like, well, I mean like, uh, the deck is pretty straightforward. So, Revengers, um, pretty much the new card was Track Ruler Mortar Phantom. It changed how, um, which grade three you want to ride first, which is Track Ruler Phantom. His skill is, if your opponent's damage is four or less. So this one, I did not read this. It went during the back opening, and I said you can push them to five to six, which was, which was like. It was like a kind of like a joke, but at the same time, I forgot to read the top part, so I actually thought that for like the whole video, which was really dumb. And then card blast one and retire two of your revenge and cards to pop. Um, to get 10k and pop your opponent's vanguard by pop as in like two bone damage. I don't know why I said pop. <laughs> Not Dragma. And you can trick it when it attacks and it has cross uh, murder phantom. So, really good actually if you with the. Essentially, he has cross right, he gains like 16k, which is a really nice column, uh, which is really nice number. So. This is Dracula the Phantom, basically he's a new grade 3, but basically what happened was that we we used Seraph Raging Form, if you don't know Raging Form, you've probably seen him, but he basically Raging Form able to rewrite by retiring your 3 of your regards after this attack, and give him 10k and draw 2, 
and then he, get, he basically he got a buff where he could also get a copy of him outside your deck by every time three of your rear cards, three of your rear cards, revenge your rear cards, and this unit gets 3k when it attacks. So basically, all of the um, Shadow Battle creatures get 3k when they attack, except this dude. I have four copies of him, and I'm really sad about it. <laughs> when this unit attacks the Vanguard, it gains 5k. And I don't know why I'm reading you, you're a bad. Oh, wait, I can't even 3k when he attacks. So all the revenge creatures get 3k. So. Um, basically what you want to do is you have more which is break right really really good break right and um, sadly I think he doesn't get used in Legion maybe he could be using Legion I'm not sure I'm not blue deep in JP um, when you're all upon you break right basically um, you give 10k to himself and call a break two or less you probably seen him he's been here for like a few months I five <laughs> I'm not sure um, but he's a really, really good card. Basically, you call, call your plus dark, your means if you need it. Your tartus if you need more cards on the board. You can call like Natality, Natality Revenger to make like really good crop numbers because um, Revenger rating form um, damages someone, so uh, damages your opponent. So really, really good card. If they, basically, you want to ride this, then this, and then if your opponent like survives for a long time, usually you kill them by rating form. And like, for example, if they heal a lot. You just run this, you can run Deermood, you can run um, the other great tree, I, I don't remember, it's like Deermood, this, or I think Deermood or this is better. So I gain crit, 500 crit, and like, if you're forced to ride this, is not the end of the world also. His skill is pretty good, second skill is main phase, you have to retire when you record to retire your opponent, we record, but with priority at the back. It's really nice against okay, decks that doesn't have back row units, means like you can randomly just pop their intercept by riding this. Which is interesting, you could call it a finisher but it's not it's a question of the finisher but raising form is here everything else pretty much in this deck is how um, except bless the dark bless the dark revenger is just like the liberate um uh, blaster blade liberator where he just basically pops our records you know i feel like if saying that that would make some um shadow Palin fan set uh, i mean like it's basically a counter plus two to retire then with like the combo like dorian blaster dark spam you know you know the drill so yeah, <laughs> that's Revengers and like um, he retires and then Tart to um, Nimane. Long ago, I did not like Nimane in my Revenger build because I thought he, she was like, not necessary. But now thinking about it, um, Nimane is really, really good to draw into your PG. So the problem of this deck is that um, you search a lot of cards, but you never like have a guaranteed draw into PG like Kagero and stuff. But like, any deck other than Kagero and I guess like Spike Bros doesn't have a way to search their PGs consistently, but. This is pretty good. Uh, Bermudas can search. <laughs> so and then Tart two counter blast one to call rear card and like usual. You probably seen it. This is a uh, mana which is pretty interesting. They basically a Tart two a budget Tart two. Well, kind of like budget s but like a better form of Tart two at the same time. She gets to call another Revenger, but you can She will leave it. The card will leave the board at the end of the turn. She's an eight k body, but she doesn't need counter blast to activate. Doesn't like Tart two so. That's pretty interesting. You could I run three just because I don't want to waste too much counter blast in Tartu. 12k is just a nullity. Um, if I had, well, actually this is fine for me. And um, I run one of this um, just because um, to fill in the great ones and for Dorian because it's good. Um, this just to like um, you want to ride your break ride first because it's really so much value you can from it. And like um, I run two sword breakers because we have this starter. I forgot to talk about just for Avenger. So this is a really nice starter. Uh, when the attack by a phantom this unit boosted hits, I think this is used in G actually. Counter plus one and put this in the soul. Then you get to call two great ones from your deck um, as rest. And that's really really good because like he, this is sword breaker and like you can call two sword breakers so blast two to draw into more cards to call into, draw into your great two, your blaster darks, your PGs and stuff like that. So now let's, let's talk let's go to the um, let's start playing some matches. Because I think I've been talking for yeah, I've been talking for ten minutes again. Hey, I've been taking so long. So yeah, pretty much this deck draws a lot, and then you you retire, you do damage and stuff like that. But one thing that is um, really hard on this deck is because how um, Mordred Phantom revenge. I think Mordred Phantom was wait Drag Ruler Phantom. I mean, was okay. My connection died. <laughs> Give me a second. It should be working now. Ah, okay, so this Vanguard Zero was stripping. My Wi Fi was fine. Maybe my Wi Fi had a cup. So, um, I'm Legend 6, I need to cry. <laughs> um, what was I trying to say? He keep interrupting myself. 
Uh, yeah, Dracula or Phantom was way better in the TCG because you didn't gain 5k from like damaging yourself. I mean, it's pretty good in like, I'm sh uh, in Zvenger Zero, but I think it's better in the TCG. Maybe, I'm not sure. But, so, uh, Dracula or Phantom. I think this deck personally is really really good. Uh, if it goes your way, it's really good. This deck draws you a lot, that's why I run the risk of running for crits. This might be a VP farmer, but it's someone promoting the channel, so maybe it's someone who's playing like random OTP. So maybe actually with the sleeves, that's an interesting sleeve. Um, I'm redrawing one just because I don't need it, and then just I'll ride it. Um, I, I need to create two just to ride it. Okay, we're playing OTT. Megas, okay, that's interesting, an off-meta deck. Uh, so, yeah, Revengers, is, I think it's pretty good. But, um, I think but one thing is that Revengers is that it's pretty peace-reliant, and you need to like play your cards well. A misplay could cost you a game, and stuff like that, but um, Vanguard 0, so it's much more simpler than the PC2, so yeah. So, let's see. Right into Create 1, and just swing at Vanguard. Pretty simple. They're playing Mingus maybe, I'm not sure, but that's pretty interesting. The heal trigger wasted. Oh, I should, maybe I should have used the Ram skin, but I feel like they won't give the animation. But maybe not. Um, so, what do I want to do? Right now, okay, I'll write uh, mana because I want to keep the BDR in my hand. We only have a reason to write BDR. Also, note that you always have to put this here, <laughs> touch ball, because when the attack boosted by a phantom, unless you call a phantom to restart more the phantom, you're not gonna be able to use this thing. Okay, so, now I can ride, then call mana and then call a great one to swing at this and fan got here. So that's pretty good. Also, alright, oh why why am I running a 9 uh, crit? Okay. Wow, <laughs> he checked she, she's gonna waste the loot already. The legend to make this push back. So, what I was I saying? Yeah, I run 4 crits because you draw quite a lot and I did run 9 draws. And I had the risk of tracking, tacking out because of how much you draw. Like from the main, from draw triggers, and on top of that like with Drag Ruler Phantom. Wait, not Drag Ruler, I mean um, Mr. Raging Form here. He just so much cards. Then you have like Judge Bow who calls 2 more cards, 2 more Sword Breakers. Then you sold that 2 to draw 2 more, which like has 4 cards on your deck. It mills the deck, but you don't really want milling too much, you know? That was a problem, that's why I run a crit. It has this downside, sometimes you just check your crits in the damage zone and that won't do anything but yeah so well it's 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 whether you play it or not i think i'm gonna bring this to the follow all right fun so, enough about uh well well i'm still talking kind of be talking about the dead but this is yeah, straightforward i like to rush which could be punishing but for now since it's casual game i don't mind and they're also at zero damage. I need to push some damage. If not, they're gonna have like a bigger hand by the time of stage two. Okay, let's do no triggers. Okay, so the mana put back the card. So, oh yeah, the um, qualifiers happened. So qualifiers happened, and I got five wins and three losses. So I was pretty bummed out because I didn't make qualifiers. Finals, I mean. but. I got into top 50, so I was like a little published like that. But that's not the point that I was trying to say. They sent an invite to me. <laughs> so I was so confused because I thought they made a mistake. Because if they made a mistake, I don't want to trouble them and like admission right now. So I checked the Discord. And then it turns out people were like saying, wait, well, I'm not even top 28. Why am I like in the Discord? It's because they lacked enough players. Some players from the top 28 from like rank season, they did not join. <laughs> Or they got like um, they didn't they, they didn't accept it and like like they they said they were busy or something like that, but like they said they're just gonna give it the top twenty nine like the 29, 30 and stuff like that. But maybe they lost the list for those people, so that's a big yikes. So then I because I got top fifty for some reason I'm in the tournament. So I'm really happy that I'm in the tournament. I get a chance to redeem myself pretty much. But I'm there to mostly have fun. I need to remember that I shouldn't get uh, sad. I also want to tell people to let's have a fun fight if you guys are hearing this for a tournament and stuff like that. Um, the qualifiers are really fun. I met some really good people. 
And fun fact in the fall of fire, I was playing Pale Moon. Okay, okay Chachi Girl, that's the yeah. Critical, Chachi Girl. Critical, oh my god, look at that. That is why I land crits. This is, how, this is why I land crits. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay. <laughs> now, the, <laughs> I'm not giving the blimmer trick, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, fun fact. During the tournament, I made a mistake where I submitted my Google form the, for the tech list submission, but I didn't send a Google form to myself, so I couldn't edit the response. Now they said that you could change your tech list by like submitting PC player if you don't have the uh, email Google form if you made a mistake. Uh, and I thought like, oh that was okay. Then I changed my deck to like Revengers here because I completed it and mastered it uh, faster. Mastered as in like be able to use it better than other decks. That's what I mean. Um, so that happened. And then my opponent is playing some really standard moves, and it turns out it didn't work, and I had to play Pale Moon, which was a good thing because I didn't. My first round I got completely explained. Because I, if not, I could have been disqualified immediately, which would be, of course, very bad. But like, it was confusing because the 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 words, I don't know why, but like, the judges were saying different things. I'm not blaming the judge. Maybe there was confusion, but. Um, it was pretty like confusing because people were like, oh, you could change it? Oh, alright, then we'll change it. Then like, turns out they're like, wait, we can't change it? Oh, wait. And then like, everyone was like, confused. And luckily, though, like, it all went smooth. I think like, people who were um, playing the first round with the wrong decks, they were like, oh, you use your old deck. And like, the, the opponents were like, oh, that was kind of unfair, but it was a joke. So it was pretty cool, I think, from my personal experience. I'm talking about the hero class. Okay, hero! Really? Whoa! Well, I'm commentating like this, I'm really So, alright, before um, I break right, and I didn't say anything, yes, I break right and did some standard moves, I just thought that's a dark. Now, I'm gonna use Judge Ball here. Now, what I can do is call these two, right? But. I'm gonna call this here because I want my opponent to retire with me. I don't mind my opponent clearing up because I'm gonna clear it out. Anyway. So blast one, draw one. Maybe I'm not gonna show Dracula, but I'm gonna show you a classic old like um Revengers. Which is always good. Ooh, into Dark Pawn, that's pretty good. So now I can I actually can finish it off with Revenger Raging Pawn of here. So yeah, that happened and it was pretty fun and stuff like that. So I thought I thought was like 50. Then I basically I don't know how what happened, but I, I thought I just basically got into the finals, which is really uh, confusing accomplishing. Like it's accomplishing, but like hmm? because some people still got the win. So I, luckily I stick to the end. I I was planning to quit because I got I got five uh I got four two. Then my opponent fought me, and then like, I think I break. I did not get a create three. If not, I didn't so charge my Selma. Oh wait, no, no, no. I break and didn't get Selma. I got <laughs> Luffy as my Vanguard, which was um, not favorable because my damage was two. If I called Marin Chica from my soul, I wouldn't multi attack. That I could multi attack still. I allowed to create two, but I didn't get my Zelmas and stuff like that. I think I used the starter twice from like skills from calling it out. And I'm surprised I didn't even get Zelma, like, that through as GG's, and like, it was, it was fun and all, it was sad, but like, it's fun. So. Oh, you got a... Hmm. Okay, I I think you should have added that to your hand. Right? Oh my god, this man is like, <laughs> this man is checking so many heals. Four heals, first one, so like, it's fun. Um, Kanzen God. No, that's a good thing. Okay, let me check his skill. There is... Uh, one, two, one, two, three... He has four heals, so and there's one in his hand. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> um, let's just end this. Raging form dragon! Bang! Classic old, uh, Avengers. Um. Yeah. One thing that sucks about Sword Breaker is that it doesn't have 30 Which really, really sucks. 
Crawl, counter charge. Good iron. Dang. Good iron, give me a copy. I think I'm winning here, but if it's not, I mean, I still have one more turn. I don't think they can kill me with a BG in my hand. That's a good thing. Uh, okay, so let me counter charge. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. okay, um, retire, counter blast, and color grade zero. Okay, so this is what you did. The sword, so the sword breakers were there just so that's to and draw me cards. <laughs> oh, it's lagging or something. I think it's because I'm not, I don't usually use my PC for my design as you guys. It's lagging a bit. Okay, Vanguard Swings, let's end it. They have to have two PGs in their hand, which they have one is out of the set. <laughs> drag ruler, you're insane. Draw trigger into drag ruler for max turn. Into drag ruler for next turn. If there is a I might even just ride it for fun. Well, actually depending on like the situation. I have seven cards in my deals are there. So now let's finish this. PG again? Uh, you PG? Oh my god, there goes a good. Well, I have only 4 cards in my set. This is kinda scary. Kinda scary. But I think I'm fine. They can't silent Tom me because. Oh wait! Oh Ryan, luckily my, my damage was 4. I was. I just realized, wait. This is OTT, so. If I was at 5 damage, it was a different story with silent Tom. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, Vanguard tournament qualifiers happen and stuff like that. Um, so I'm took a break from Vanguard. Uh, sorry for that if I I said I wanted to make more videos, but I don't know what happened. Oh, man. Okay, also, um, Pale Moon. You know, actually in the tournament, uh, for the qualifiers, the finals, I did not bring Pale Moon. I'm gonna bring um, Shadows, Gold, and Kagero. So my Kagero is not finished. My I just need two more to cross. If not, I'm playing some Novel pa package, which I, I, let's see how it will go. But then, um, other than that, other than Novel package, we have the Revenger. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I have Revengers, which is already like this. The deck stream. I'm gonna bring it like this. And what else? Gold, yeah. I actually kinda of complete with gold. And gold is really really good. I'll do a deck on final on, on it later on. Maybe I'll do deck on fight after the qualifiers and if uh, finals if, if it happens well. So yeah. I was gonna bring Pale Moon but then I realized from my um qualifier experience, my pale moon was trolling me. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Because the whole game it was pretty much just like messing with me and stuff like that. Right now I'll just ride Jack Luder Monster. You can hear the catchphrase. So sick. Raging form grammage. Hey, Drak Ruler. Eh, no, 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 no. I almost slided. If I slided, I would have lost. So they have no way of surviving unless they check the heal. Then they check the heal. GG's. Fair enough. No they only have Lost and Jamaica in their deck. Oh, so. uh, if you check a heal. Oh, alright. Okay, GG's. Let's go. Avengers. Very good. So yeah, tournaments coming around. <laughs> good luck, have fun for all the. Uh, people who join and all the people who are gonna be watching that's gonna be hella fun first actual final tournament for final ish tournament because it's swiss it's it's swiss again eight round swiss so yeah oh yeah about my pale moon i was gonna say right before i end the video uh, what happened was that my pale moon was pretty much breaking like uh every other game which was yikes because i realized that 
unless you get your Zelmas or like you join to your Creed trees that are not Lukier because you don't want to, Lukier is not that good honestly or, or even Venus Lukier you don't really want to ride that Venus Lukier could be better because you get to call two Creed 2s at least but um, pretty much that the deck doesn't do much un if you break you, if you break you lose <laughs> so I was gonna say also long ago I was gonna say I was gonna bring Blouse but turns out the tournament basically pushed Blouse so far into the meta that I cannot bring it I should not bring it to me so yeah and also there's not too many link jokers enough for me <laughs> so time basically that's pretty much the deck um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, video we, we, we talked a lot so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and leave a subscribe, yeah. subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and leave 20 likes if you want to see pt uh, wait not not coral no 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 if you want to see my duos build so i didn't talk about duos pretty much this deck does anything it draws you a lot it gets you with this this card is amazing though if you guys don't know this exists when it attacks counter when it attack hits because it's zero counter blast one to punch a real duos to add that copy to your hand so you can easily get your pg which is insane and cards like this can give you crit this can give you multi attack. This can you give you a multi attack by break, right? But these are all separate creatures. trees. These are the problem. These are separate cards, separate cards, separate cards. It's super annoying to play this deck, and I. But it's not super annoying. It's sup It's much more harder and doesn't value as much. Sadly, that's duos right now. But I think Legion would be better. So, yeah, that's pretty much duos. If you want to see that, give 20 likes on this video. But. This is my Shadow Balance deck profile, if you guys are interested in that. I'm gonna bring this in my tournament, and hopefully you guys have a good one. And that's pretty much it for Capital VG. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.